Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about all the staples and essentials that you need to build a classic wardrobe. So when you're building a classic wardrobe you kind of want to avoid things that are very trendy right now or very seasonal. So for example spring, summer is very florally but that's not really classic all year round. And just for example say bomber jackets are really trendy now, it doesn't mean they're really going to be trendy and stylish in a few years time. So you kind of want to look at the things that have been stylish for years and years and years. I would also say that these are the things that you want to invest more money in rather than those trendy um, fast fashion pieces. So as you guys know, I like to buy loads of clothes, but I wouldn't necessarily spend a lot of money on something that I knew was kind of just very trendy now. I'm not sure if I'm still gonna want to wear it next year. But however, if I was about to buy something that I know, you know, is a staple piece in my wardrobe that I've worn for years and I will continue to wear for years, then I will spend more money on a really good high quality one. And I thought instead of doing what I normally do, which is incorporating my style videos into a haul that you can shop, I would actually just show you pieces that I have in my wardrobe to give you like a really good example. So number one has to be a trench coat. I think I got my first trench coat when I was about 17 and I just wore it every day forever. It's just the most timeless style of coat ever. They always look stylish. They always look amazing. They instantly add an elegance and a sophistication to your outfit and you just really cannot go wrong with a trench coat and if you invest in a good one you'll be able to keep it for years and I guarantee in years to come they will still be in fashion. And the great thing about trench coats is they actually look amazing in every season. So in spring summer they look gorgeous like over a kind of florally cute summer dress and some little boots and in winter they eat look amazing with tights and boots over the knee boots with a nice like woolly turtleneck coming up underneath they look amazing in every season so you really can wear them all year round which makes them a great investment for your wardrobe and when I say that they're timeless I mean they literally go back so many years even Audrey Hepburn wears one in breakfast at Tiffany's that's how iconic they are and how long they've been around and yet they are still in stores every single season because they just never go out of style and you just can't go wrong it will always look chic it will always look stylish and elegant and I really think it's the first thing that you should go for when building a classic wardrobe because I mean you could honestly be wearing anything underneath it really doesn't matter as soon as you put a nice trench coat over the top it will just look so stylish and sophisticated. So my one is from Jack Wills. It's about 150 pounds um, and I will link it down below. But talking about investing your money in staples, actually my next kind of designer purchase that's on the horizon um, is the Burberry trench coat because I know that it will be worth the money. They're very, very expensive, but from experience, I've had my trench coats for years. I've literally been wearing them since I was 17 and I still love them just as much. So I know that if I you know, spend a lot of money on a coat, I'm totally gonna get my wear out of it. It's to last me a very long time. My next staple is of course turtlenecks. As you guys know I pretty don't wear any top anymore that isn't a high neck roll neck turtleneck. I just think they look so much more stylish and chic than an ordinary round neck and again it's a style that transcends seasons and years and even decades and they just instantly kind of elevate an outfit. You could just tuck one into a high-waisted pair of jeans or a skirt and honestly it just looks so much better than like wearing a t-shirt. So first of all I would make sure that you've got all of the basics covered so go for the neutral color stock up on your turtlenecks, get one in black, white, grey, um, have your neutrals and basics there um, because it will just mix and match with so many outfits and they're just so easy to wear. And then once you've done that you can kind of venture off into colours, so of course pink like this one here, maybe camel and really any colour that you like. I've got white, black, grey, I've got a different shade of grey, I've got pink, I've got a brighter pink, um, I have camel, I really do have loads because they're like the only thing I wear anymore. And again turtlenecks have just been stylish for forever really again like the trench coat you can see Audrey Hepburn wearing them and they're just like this timeless classic piece that you absolutely need in your wardrobe. The next thing you need is a good pair of jeans. Jeans just go with absolutely everything you can wear them so many different ways they're so so versatile and they never really seem to go out of style. If you can find a good pair that you feel really comfortable in and confident that flatter your body that you feel really good in and that you enjoy wearing then there's really actually no need to have more than one pair unless you're a jeans person. These are like the only pair of jeans I own I have some black ones and also some pink and white ones but these are my only blue jeans because they just work for everything for me. Mine are from ASOS, these are the ones that I wear all of the time, they're the ASOS Farley jeans um, and they're like a mum jean style but they're a lot slimmer because I got them in like a really small size so that they weren't baggy like mum jeans, that's what I mean, you kind of just have to like try loads of jeans on and find out what suits you and what you like and kind of experiment a bit. But these are high waisted, they have very tiny um, constructed rips in and also turn up at the bottom and I just really like the way these fit on me. I can wear them many different ways. I can dress them up, dress them down. The next staple to add to your wardrobe is 
your signature bag. Now that I'm an adult, I'm in my 20s, much more so than when I was a teenager, I really do believe in investing in a good, high quality luxury bag that's gonna last you a very long time and you can use every single day. I think pairing a high-end accessory with your outfit can just totally elevate it, refine it, polish it off, and make it look probably a lot more expensive and better than it actually is. I've said this before, but you could be wearing like a head-to-toe, very super affordable outfit from Primark, for example, and then if you have a really gorgeous um, high-end bag, then no one's really going to know the difference. Obviously, bags can be very expensive, so I think it's definitely worth doing some research and really looking into what bag you want to have. So, for example, before I bought this bag, it had actually been on my Pinterest wish list for about three or four years, and that kind of says something, whereas sometimes really trendy bags, things that you're kind of seeing all over Instagram, seeing your favorite bloggers buying all at once, might not be as trendy in a few years time. So it's definitely worth waiting it out and seeing what you really like, what your personal tastes are, because you don't want to blow, you know, a small fortune on a bag just for it to go out of style and for you to kind of not love it anymore. It's very high quality, so hopefully it's not going to get run down as long as I take proper care of it. Of course, it's all about your personal tastes and what you love, but I'd also kind of recommend doing a little bit of research and seeing which bags the brand kind of does season to season, year after year. If it's a trend bag that's just come out for spring and is gonna be discontinued next and then maybe that's not the one to invest in for long term. I also think it's equally worth investing in an evening bag. Um, the Prada bag is very much a daytime everyday bag um, and it wouldn't really work for a party or an evening out. My Chloe Drew bag is honestly one of the best bags I have ever had. I've never worn something so much as this and I just want to be transparent. I did not actually pay the full amount for this bag but honestly if it got stolen or if somebody spilt something on it and it got ruined I would 100% buy it again and I know it's a lot of money but out of experience I've worn this so much. It's gone with so many outfits and it makes all of my outfits look so much better. It does kind of double up as a day bag as well. But I did just want to show you this because I feel like it's good to have an evening bag and a day bag in your collection. Even if you just have one, you have to make sure that it's one that you're gonna be able to use for all of your outfits and it will be totally worth it. And then before I move on, I just wanted to show you guys this bag because the truth is I didn't always have the money to afford really high-end expensive bags. And this was my go-to bag for ages when I was lusting after the Chloe bag. This one is from Dune and honestly, it's such high quality. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. If your budget is restricted to high street, there are so many good options as well. I'd really recommend Dune and Aldo. The bag quality is really, really high. Next up is Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are another thing that just never go out of style. You can get them season after season, whether it's spring, summer, autumn or winter, and they look equally good all year round. I love wearing Chelsea boots in autumn, winter, but they also look amazing with bare legs and a cute summer. Um, flowery dress and I love how versatile they are it's kind of a sign if something's like a classic piece if it just looks good on everyone it suits lots of different people's styles I mean literally these are equally as stylish for girls and guys and the same with the trench coat it's kind of like a sign when something's really classic that anyone can kind of wear it and look good I have quite a few pairs of Chelsea boots these are my two favorites um, I love suede Chelsea boots more than smooth leather um, but it's totally up to you I also love mine in like tan camely brown shades so these are gorgeous in a nice chocolate brown with a small heel and these are just a classic flat tan pair. These are both by a brand called Fairfax and Favour who I would really recommend. They're quite expensive boots but they're very very high quality and like I said when you're investing in a piece of clothing that you know you can wear for years and years and you're going to get a really good amount to wear out of then I really would recommend spending a little bit more extra money to make sure you get some really nice high quality ones that aren't going to look really worn and battered after a few months of wearing them. Another absolute essential for your classic wardrobe is a good versatile pair of heels. I feel like we all have that one pair of heels that we just always end up reaching for because we know that they look good and we feel comfortable in them. I mean, as comfortable as we can in heels. And again, like jeans, within reason, you kind of only really need one good pair. Actually, I think you maybe need two classic pairs of heels. The first being a black pair. I just don't think you can go wrong. I think every girl needs a pair of black heels in their wardrobe. I think everyone's dream would be Le Boutons for their classic heel. Um, if that's not really uh, in your budget, then I mean, these are my absolute favorite. These are Carvella by Kurt Geiger. Um, they're so, so comfortable and they just look so, so gorgeous. Um, these are a black patent leather. They're peep toe as well. They're a really great heel height. And these are my go-to heels if I'm wearing something black. But as you guys know, I don't really find myself wearing black too often, but I did just want to show you the black pair because I know many people wear black more often than I do. Um, so my go-to pair of shoes, actually these ones, they're the exact same Carvella um, patent peep toes in the nude color. These are so perfect. They go with everything. I can wear these with jeans if I want to kind of dress up my jeans a little bit. Um, and I do wear these 
out to occasions as well. And I just think it's so important for every girl just to have that go-to pair of heels that they know look good, that they feel comfortable in, um, and that kind of are a really classic style. And then I also wanted to quickly show you guys these as well, which are my pointy toe heels. These I will wear if I'm going for something a little bit more fashion, a little bit more elegant. Pointy toe stilettos are just a timeless classic, and these are in a really pretty pinky nude shade, so they go with absolutely everything. These were very affordable just from Topshop. The next staple you need in your wardrobe ASAP is a white shirt or blouse. There is something completely timeless and effortless about a white blouse, and they just always look good, and they always look classic and in style, depending on how you choose to style them. So you could go for a really classic kind of cotton uh, shirt style blouse. I love wearing these. I kind of like roll up the sleeves and tie a knot around the waist and it looks really, really cute. Or if you want to go for something a little bit more feminine, go for more of a girly blouse. I love this one because it's really plain and I've worn it so much. I've had this for like two and a half years and I've just worn it to death. It's a lovely high neck um, with kind of like loose sheer sleeves. And if you want a really quick way to look really polished and classic and chic, but still super duper casual, you just need a white shirt or blouse, a pair of really nice fitted jeans and a cute pair of like pointy toe heels and your signature bag. Next up is your staple pair of bottoms. And I couldn't really choose between skirt or trousers because I think everyone is different. For me, if I had to pick one, it would of course be a skirt. But I do think it's really important to have a good pair of trousers in your wardrobe that you can just go to when you need them. I think a suede skirt is a great staple piece to have in your wardrobe because again, they look good in spring, summer, they look great in autumn, winter. You could wear this with a beautiful silk blouse and heels for a more nighttime cocktail look, or you could wear this with a cute little turtleneck and over the knee boots for a daytime look. And then I also think it's great to have a pair of trousers in your wardrobe that again, you can dress for different occasions. These are obviously very, very smart. They'd work very well for work or an interview or something where you need to be a little bit smart and formal. You could dress this up with like a really cute like black bardo top and some black heels and a cute little clutch bag and it's an evening look. You could wear it with a black turtleneck and a cute hat and some like low block heels and it looks really chic and stylish. So if you have a pair of trousers in your wardrobe that you can wear many many different ways and these ones are from H&M. The next thing you need is an occasion dress and I wanted to say a little black dress because that's like the thing. We're going to call this section a little whatever color you want dress um, and this was really hard for me because I have so much occasion wear. I actually have more occasion wear than casual wear but that is extra and unnecessary. I suppose it depends on your lifestyle and your profession depending on how many kind of dressy occasions you go to but really I think the average person only really needs two or three and I do think one of those should be a classic little black dress because again it's just something that is timeless, it's always stylish and you can't really go wrong. If you're going to turn up to an occasion in a bright red dress you might feel super fancy but you might look back at the photos in a few years time and go what was I thinking but you're never going to have that situation with a little black dress. This is mine, it's from Ted Baker, it's about I don't know how old this is, four or five years old. I've worn it to interviews, I've worn it to parties and then I also wanted to show you guys this dress which is also from Ted Baker, this is one of my favourites. It's a really beautiful little sleeveless lace shift dress, it's very very simple and classic. It's not a trendy piece of clothing and it's something that I'm sure I'll still be able to wear and feel very beautiful in um, in years to come. And finally, as always, we end on accessories. Just like my bags, I'm a big believer in investing in quality luxury accessories, like for example my Burberry scarf. These are very, very expensive. However, when you look at how many clothes I buy, how many clothes I have in my wardrobe, how many things come in and out of my wardrobe from season to season, this is my only scarf. I have a few cute like silky neckties for the summer, but this is my only winter scarf because it's the only one that I need. I really love this. It goes with all of my outfits and apart from maybe having it in one other colour, I really have no desire for another scarf at all. And again, with sunglasses, the only ones I really wear are my Tiffany ones. And I've kind of stopped buying sunglasses for that reason because I just know that I'll never find a pair that I love as much as these. And these again are more of a luxury designer item. I think they were around £250, but I bought these, gosh, I bought these in 2015 and I wear them constantly. I wear them in winter, I wear them in summer, I wear them all of the time. They're plain black, they're quite understated and simple, though they do have a very stylish cat eye shape and they're just totally classic. Again, I'm going to reference Audrey Hepburn. These are my Audrey Hepburn sunglasses. So that's it for today's video. As always, I really hope I gave you some inspiration. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so, so much for watching and as always, I shall see you next week. Bye!